I was getting constructive criticism, I thought people were talking down on me. So I took that as I don't like authority. And you know, that was not masculine on my part. And that took me like that declined in my game. So when people were telling me I had to get better here, um, I took it as a bad thing. I took it as if they were talking bad about me, as if, you know, they were talking down on my game. Who do you think you're talking to? Huh? Who do you think you talk? I'm just I'm right. replaying yeah. what you, yeah. what exactly. you said. And you're like, That's you don't show up talking to me. Exactly. And I always yeah. feel like that because there is no authority figure in the house to, you know, show me discipline. It was just my mom. Right. And she'd show me discipline, but it'd be in a, it's a total different way. She's a mother. She's not a father. She can't show me how to be a man. She can only, you know, raise me and nurture me like a mother can. Right. But I needed that, you know, I needed a, you know, a male positive figure within my life, but I didn't have that. So I just wanted to piggyback off of that. Um, as far as me, which is kind of weird, I was raised by my dad. So I never had a female figure in my life. Um, and I will backpack, backpack off of Savion, right? Savion, yeah. Um, I was kind of the same way. Women coaches would come in my life, tell me the same thing, and we would we would go we would bump heads like go head to head. And I'll be like, but not with men coaches. No, never. And that's crazy. Yeah. Like it's so prominent though in the track field. There are more um, men outweigh the women in the track world. There are there aren't many women track coaches, and that's why too I want to be on that highest level of a track coach because I want to be one of those. Um, but yeah, we would all the time go at it because I'll be like, "Why you can't t you can't tell me what to do?" Like, and I've never just ever had that. Even in my though they're the coach, yes. right? Even yes. though they, yeah. that's their job yeah. to yeah. tell you what to do, like, oh, you can't tell die. me what to do. <laughs> yeah. Oh man! But even when it would come to a man, though, I'd be like, "Okay, like I I could sit here and listen just too because my daddy would like I could do that. Like in any other man, like I, I could listen and I I would know how to take that just too because I know like a man's energy." But with the woman, it would just come off so like aggressive, way more aggressive than men, if that makes sense. Um, so it was weird. And then it, it really took me like a long time, just as much as he would say. I had to get to college and I had to become a woman myself. And I had to learn that just to be able to know how to even maneuver that and deal with that. Um, so yeah, it, it took me just a really long time to even know how to deal with any of that. Is this, is, is this a conversation that you've had with yourself? Is this a, yes, uh, man, why does she get on my nerves so bad? Yes. Why do you keep talking to me <laughs> like that? And, do, and does it ever cross your mind the experiences that you've been through, right? Mm -hmm. Or is it just in that moment, right? Because listen, I'm significantly older than y'all, right? So the, the, the logic is different, right? But did it ever cross your mind that you were the problem? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, or did you just not care? No. Because <laughs> that happens too, right? You know, you it, you, it, it's a, yeah. it's a, it's a, it's a power thing, it's right? Power and struggle. then we're, we're we're struggling amongst each other, right? Yeah. And and she not gonna beat me. Yeah. And coaching, you know what I mean? <laughs> but the truth is, coach gonna gonna be there. Yeah. Tomorrow. Yeah. When you get older, you realize, dang, I was a problem, and I'm wide-eyed and uneducated. I'm young, you know. Obviously, I think I know everything. Um, but then as I get older, I'm like, I should have just shut my mouth and listened to you. That's what it came down to. That's yeah. all it was. <laughs> yeah, same here. I was, I mean, I was being a little female, like, <laughs> I, yeah, I should have, uh, yeah. So I, I know how I was acting, but, uh, like, further on as I got older, I was like, yeah, like, you know, this is, I identified my problems. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, well, these are the solutions. Don't take everything personal. Yeah. Everybody not trying to hurt you, you know what I'm saying? Didn't nobody curse you out, didn't nobody do this. They're just telling you this is what you need to do to get better. So take the constructive criticism or don't play. Yeah. Coach Reese, I actually have a question for you. For Wayne Wu's actually that. in that spot. You can't do that. <laughs> it's about the same stuff, it's about the same stuff. No same stuff. Yeah. Have you ever had a challenging points where you felt like the kid was dealing with challenges at home and he was really coming at you in a different way because of his challenges at home? Oh, all the time. Yeah, all the time. And 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 that's you know what 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 Savion was talking about. Really, a lot of times, as a coach, that ain't got nothing to do with me. You know what I mean? Whatever issue that you're having, right? We just we just happen to come to the most incendiary point, mm -hmm. right? And that's where it blew up at, right? But you know, again, I, I was told when I first started coaching, right? And I don't want to speak only from a coach's perspective because there was a time that I, you know, I played. It was just 20 years ago. Yeah. But 
Um, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Whatever. Um, you make me lose my train of thought now. <laughs> yes, I, I, I was told when I first started coaching, if you don't know a kid, you can't coach a kid, mm -hmm. right? And then Eric Bieniemy, and I'm sure he wasn't the first to say, but he was the first. I was when he said it was the first time I heard it. They don't care how much you know until they know how much you care, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And so, yes, I, I, I have. It, it happens all the time, right? Mm -hmm. And and then when a kid reacts in a negative way, a player reacts in a negative way, we gotta find out why, right? Mm -hmm. Does he not understand the information that we give him, right? That, why does he care? Right, does he care to know? Right? Does he not? Does he understand the information? Am I coaching him properly? Is, is, am I communicating? Is he one of the, a tactile learner? Does he learn? Is he visual? How how does this play to learn? Right? And, and the more players you have, obviously football, this can be really difficult because you got a hundred kids, right? So, yeah, I, you know, there's always something behind the reaction, and a lot of times you just happen to be where the rubber meets the road, and you know, you're, you happen to be the most, you know volatile person, you know, or you're, you're the person that's going to push back, yeah. right? Or the, the, uh, the person that they're really mad at is tired of them and they, you know, they, and, and, you know, you just happen to catch the fire. Mm -hmm. and so, yeah. It, at it, that it point, though, do you, do you ever come to like a point where you think that you were the problem for that situation? And that I've you had plenty of regrets on how, okay. I've, on how I've dealt with situations, mm -hmm. yeah. right? Because there's, there's some machismo involved. Right, I'm a man too. Yeah, You're yeah, not gonna yeah. talk to me, especially your 14 year old behind ain't gonna yeah. talk to me like that. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So no, for real. that's yeah. what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah. So, go, go ahead. These kids need discipline. That's what yeah. I'm saying. But it starts at home. Like we gotta have parent, like parent coach meetings. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Where that level and that respect is drawn, because yes, there comes a certain point in time. Like yeah, you could talk to them nice. You know what I'm saying? Give him the coach talk, but as soon as you start talking to me a certain way, then I'm gonna show you what a grown man is, mm -hmm. and that's and that's what comes when there's not a grown man in the house mm -hmm. as well, and that's what happened with me as well. Like this was a, a mission I set out upon when I first first started. I said I don't ever want to give a player a negative experience that they will take with them for the rest of their life. Okay. My college coach. I can see him, I can see, I can see what he had on. I can hear what he said to me, right? I won't repeat it, but I, I, I can hear it. I can still see it, right? Not, and I'll never forget, right? I don't ever want to be the person to do that to a kid. I'm sure that I have been, right? And so that I'm, I try to be more mindful about my actions, but that, that was my mission. I, I don't want to do that to, to people, right? Because again, we come back to respecting other people's humanity. Right, mm -hmm. um, Gervais, 